to Geography Gem. Today we're going to be looking at extreme weather. Can you think of any examples of extreme weather in the United Kingdom? Can you see an example today, right now? Okay, so the obvious one is I'm now standing in heavy precipitation or heavy rainfall. So one example of extreme weather in the United Kingdom is sustained heavy rainfall and strong winds. Okay. Another example would be a drought. A drought is a long period of time with no rainfall. Then you might also get extreme high temperatures for a period of time. You might get the opposite to that. You might get extreme low temperatures and very heavy snowfall for a period of time. Or you might get things like storms. All of these are examples of extreme weather in the UK. The word extreme means unusual, unusual weather. Um, of ex a very heavy rainfall, extreme weather, and this is caused by something we call a frontal depression, uh, which is where two air masses meet, um, and this leads to, or can lead to, very, very heavy rainfall in a low pressure system. Now, in the UK, we're getting more and more extreme weather over time. What that means is we're getting um, much hotter weather, and we're also getting more rainfall. So you might ask, what evidence have you got for that? Over the last, 20 years, we've had the 10 hottest years on record. There's some evidence for you. That's evidence that the temperatures are rising on average across the UK. Over the last 20 years, we've had the six wettest years as well um, since records began. So therefore, we know for definite that it's getting hotter and it's raining more often. And you're getting rainfall like this as well, which is more like to cause something called a flash flood. So we're getting more and more events like flash floods, which is when you get a really, really big flood very, very quickly. So you might ask why that would be. And most scientists believe it's due to climate change, probably man-made climate change. Um, we're releasing fossil fuels up into the atmosphere. They are forming a blanket of carbon dioxide and other gases like methane around the planet which traps in the solar radiation, the sun's heat, and it can't escape and therefore it's gradually warming the whole planet up. Now in terms of the UK, what that means for us is it means that the temperatures are rising. So that kind of explains why we're getting hotter and hotter summers. In terms of rainfall, and we're getting more rainfall as well. One of the reasons for that is because the sea temperatures are rising. And if the sea temperatures rise, you get more evaporation and more water than to condense, cool, form clouds and rain. So you're getting an increase in storms across the UK. And in places which are hot, um, you're, you're getting an increase in hurricanes as well. And there's always the possibility in the future that the UK may get hurricanes if the sea temperatures continue to rise. Finally, in general, just if you've got warmer air, warmer air can hold more moisture than colder air. So if you warm the planet up, you're likely to get um, more heavy precipitation like you've got today because you've got warmer air that can hold more water than colder air can. So that's some of the evidence behind um, the re for, for the reason for extreme weather in the UK and also some of the reasons behind it. 